All right. My name is Philip and welcome to Chemistry Class News. Okay, today, without wasting much time, we're going to be looking at um, your NECO chemistry, you know, particular questions on sort analysis. All right, we are giving two sorts, um, aluminum chloride and um, zinc carbonate. Aluminum chloride was Y and zinc carbonate is X. So, as usual, I've drawn up some likely questions that might, you know, come out. So looking at this first um, test here, of course, most tests will start by, you know, adding a certain amount of distilled water. So yeah, I said Y plus 10 cm cube of distilled water. Then, you know, aluminum chloride is soluble. And so I said yeah, it dissolves to form a clear solution. Or you can see colorless solution, the same thing. And the difference is that Y is soluble. Then plus litmus. Of course, you expect the you know litmus paper to you know to turn red, meaning that it is acidic, which is why I said why it's acidic. Then looking at the others, this second test, um, of course, you might be made to divide it into portion, into you know maybe two or three portions because you're going to need it for that test. So I said first portion plus um, sodium hydroxide in drops plus in excess. The intuition is that you get a white gelatinous precipitate. While in excess, the precipitate dissolves, or you can say it is soluble. And the difference will be aluminum ions, zinc ions, or lead ions present. Then second portion here, plus aqueous ammonia in drops plus in excess, you are almost getting the same observation which is white gelatinous precipitate but in essence you notice that the precipitate remains or dissolve or is insoluble so with this observation the inference would be aluminum ions and lead ions that will be present although some people don't want to put it like these two ions would be after SS, after you added the SS, they'll be here. Why um, aluminum, zinc, and lead will be where we have after the white gelatinous precipitates. But this is how I chose to do mine. So when you do this test, the ions, the inference will be aluminum and lead um, ions. Okay, yeah, third portion plus dilute ECL. Observation is that no visible reaction, and the difference is that um, you no know, aluminum is um, unconfirmed, so I'll be able to eliminate the lead. Remember, when lead reacts with dilute ECL, you know, it, um, um, it forms a, 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 a actually it forms a white precipitate. My lead sorts, remember. Um, Chlorides are uh, um, source of chloride. Lead sorts of chloride are, you know, insoluble, unlike aluminium chloride, which is soluble. And so that this reaction will be able to confirm aluminium because the one precipitate formed, but if it's lead, a precipitate will be formed. Since there's no precipitate here, that means we have confirmed aluminium. So normally the next test would have been to confirm chloride, you know, ions. But the reagent that would have been used is um, nitric acid, silver nitrate, and uh, aqueous ammonia. But I discovered that the specimen they didn't provide us with um, silver nitrate. And as a result, I would not like to add the test where we confirm chloride ion because we're not giving silver nitrate in our specimen. So I'll go straight to the next set of tests, which is the one for um, zinc carbonate, which is X. So as usual, X plus the sea water, a certain amount of the sea water. So the inference, the observation here is that S, I said S does not dissolve or is only partially soluble. The inference is that S is insoluble. Under normal circumstances, Zinc carbonate is 
insoluble in water. But some book, they may report it that it is partially soluble. That's why I put these two. The thing is that if you say it does not dissolve or is insoluble, or you say it's only, or you say it's partially soluble, you are still correct. But you make sure that your inference here is that it is insoluble. So people report it as partially soluble. Why some people report it as it does not dissolve or is insoluble? You are still correct. So the inference is that it is insoluble. Then the other one, um, first portion of of um, you know, this solution plus sodium hydroxide in drops plus in excess. As usual, a white gelatinous precipitate, you know, and in excess, so the precipitate is soluble in excess, that is for sodium hydroxide. And the inference here, just like the previous ones, is zinc, lead, and aluminium ions to be present. So the last part, so I say second portion plus the manuside in plus equals ammonia in drops plus in excess. So uh, see, the white gelatinous precipitate you know, will be formed. Whereby we see how these three um, ions, zinc, lead, and aluminum ions present. Then we now react it, we now add uh, excess aqueous ammonia. You notice that this in this, this case, the precipitate dissolves. And when that happens, you cannot confirm zinc because it's out of these three ions it's only zinc that um, can um, undergo this observation whereby the precipitate will dissolve zinc take note zinc is a um, is a transition metal and that's why it can you know undergo this kind of um, observation it dissolves but for these other ones but, but, but for lead and zinc, uh, for lead and uh, aluminium, it doesn't dissolve. It's insoluble. It's only zinc that will do this. So we have confirmed for zinc. Then the last part, say third portion plus dilute ACL. You know, zinc carbonate. We are adding um, hydrochloric acid. Of course, the zinc carbonate is in solution. Now we are adding hydrochloric acid. You expect. Um, um, effervescences, of course, you know, colorless, odorless gas, which turns lime water milky. That is carbon dioxide from CO32 minus or HCO3 minus. Yeah, some people may even add plus, you know, moist um, litmus paper. You can also add that, though I didn't add it on my own. You can say plus moist litmus paper. So you cannot say that. Um, Moist red moist paper turns red, right? As you can see, moist uh, moist litmus paper turns red, meaning that this gas is um, acidic. Actually, it's not like more as it's slightly acidic, but it is reported as being acidic. You can decide to add that maybe after um, effervescence occurs, colorless colorless gas which turns lime water milky and moist litmus paper red that is changed from blue to red then stay under the inference here i can also say the gas is acidic you can decide to add that but for this one i decide not to add it so that's the end of the video as usual, this video it doesn't mean that this is exact thing that will come out, but this is just to guide you. So, if you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe. Thanks, and all the best in your exams.